Hi, this is Julie O'Brien on behalf of Volta Ireland in the Dublin office, speaking via web link with Christian Rubel from the Tourism Ireland Frankfurt office. Can you share with Irish tourism businesses your top tips that will generate real business from the German markets? The German market is highly attractive, but you have to understand it. So you must learn what do Germans want. They want to meet the real Ireland. Now, that's a very good idea of for how to get them to go to Ireland, but how do you get your business? If you're an attraction, you need to get the message out that it's worth visiting you. Uh, that might be more a PR thing, it will be the website, uh, and ideally, if you can be booked via two operators, also present in the catalogues. If you are accommodation, booking.com and the likes are the easy choice. For Germany, hrs.com might be a, a bit bigger even, uh, but in all cases, you are just there on a website where people need to go. The best way, in my opinion, is actually if you can convince a German tour operator to program you, because that means they do all the work of showcasing you, of selling you via their network, which can be many thousand travel agencies. However, it requires you being willing to work with trade, to trade conditions, which basically means a, co a commission, like a booking.com. On the subject of translation, can you advise what is expected, particularly for websites and print material? First of all, if you translate, don't Google translate. It will be good for a laugh, but for nothing else. Get a native speaker to translate, because even a non-native speaker with a good command of German might make the mistake of translating literally. And Germans are literal. If you translate a world-class experience into the same wording in German, they expect just that. It will have to be one of the top three or max five best experiences in this world, not just in Ireland. So that's one thing. The other thing is for a website, you can rightly assume anybody who finds you on a website will have some command of English. They will like a German welcome, uh, but you don't need to go to any further uh, length, because if you do, they will expect you to speak German fluently with them or mail with them. So a German welcome is welcome, and state clearly that communication needs to be in English. As for printed material, you would need it on the ground, so if for attractions or about the area you have some locally printed material in the German language, have it available there, but there is no need to translate that. Can you share with us some campaign examples that Tourism Ireland Germany has used to drive business into Ireland? You'll be surprised to hear that the most successful campaigns, plural, are the Wild Atlantic Way campaigns, plural, again because that's the great hook to get people interested in Ireland. Germany isn't exactly landlocked, but almost. Just a few people have access to the coast and it's a flat coast. The rugged, wild Atlantic coastline is what attracts Germans. So that is how, you get, how we get them hooked, interested. That is what makes them decide to come to Ireland. And then they plan. And when they get, get at the planning stage, they will look at the other areas too, the ancient east, um, the lakelands, the north, all that will come in the course of the planning. So Wild Atlantic Way works for all of us in Ireland, even if we are right in the centre. Can you advise three ways Irish tourism businesses can better engage with the Tourism Ireland Germany office to increase their presence in your market? Okay, first look at our industry opportunity website, what is possible to engage with the German market. And please do have a close look. You can always call us or mail us with questions, but preferably with precise, detailed questions, not the generic, how can I get more German business question, because that's very difficult to answer. And if you have decided you want to engage with Germany and you have to decided whether you want to go directly to the consumer or via the trade, the main thing is directly to consumer. It would be placing offers on the web 
And if you go with trade, it might be a very good idea to sign up for our Offenbach workshop, which is usually in October or November, and uh, allows you to meet 20 plus buyers from German to operators. If an Irish tourism business makes contact with you, what product information do you need from them? Well, as detailed as possible, what is it that you offer? Because that's the most important thing. Is it accommodation? Is it an attraction? And always think about why should somebody come to you? And if you're an accommodation, they don't usually come for the accommodation. They come to the area because they want to see the area, the sleeve league. Or they come to the area because there's a certain attraction, like New Grange. That makes them come. The accommodation itself is rarely the case. And once you're clear about that, let us know what you are and what you want. And again, I get back to the point of, do you want to work with trade or do you want to go straight to consumer? And in this, remember one thing. If Germans book through travel trade, they do so because they can do so in their own language. And if anything goes wrong, they have somebody to complain to in their own language. If they want to do it in English, if they want to do it direct, yes, then your offer might be rightly placed there, but you will limit yourself somewhat to the fewer Germans. Other than that, call us, mail us. If you have any questions, we're happy to talk to you, but please prepare for the call. Thank you. I just want to thank you very much for your time. I'm sure the Irish trade will find this very useful.